Yeah, hi, good morning everyone. This is Rajesh Palwe from the technical desk. I just take you through the Nifty and USD and our technical view for the day. In the last trading session, Nifty opened on a flat note and buying momentum uh, seen in the market throughout the session. Nifty closed at the day high with a gain of around 58 point compared to the previous trading session. And Nifty managed to close above 8850 level at 8879 level. So it's a bullish day and uh, Nifty has formed a long bullish candle on the daily chart which is also suggesting that there is a buying interest remain continue in the market and Nifty managed to give the breakout of 8840 resistance level on the closing basis. So now if Nifty continues to hold 8840 level then it will furthermore scale up in the range of 8900, 8950 in very short time as we are uh, trading in uh, expiry week for the series of FAB. So we might see some sort of volatility uh, due to this expiry, but uh, however the uh, structure is positive on the Nifty chart on the near term as well as on the short term chart, and we are expecting that if Nifty continues to hold 8840, then we might see some expiry around 8900 or 8950 level for this series. The chart pattern suggests that uh, if Nifty uh, breaks below 8840 or 8800 level, then some sort of profit booking we can see in the market and nifty can go down for level of 8750 or 8700 so uh, overall uh, structure is positive and for broader uh, level uh, 8700 to 8900 this could be the possible range once we get the breakout of 8900 then it will continue its upward momentum and on the higher side it may reach to the uh, new high level uh, in coming uh, weeks or coming uh, trading sessions so Trend is positive and we suggest whenever you see any dip near to the support area is a buying opportunity in the market. Nifty is continuously holding its important moving average which is also supporting the bullish sentiment ahead. Uh, even if you look at the indicators also the near term as well as the short term indicators are also supporting the bullish bias in the market. For the day 8860 is the important level to watch for if Nifty trades and tr uh, trades above this level then on the higher side 8905, 8935 are the resistance area for the day. On the lower side, if it's break below 8860 level, then lower side support uh, for the day are 8830, 80 level. Moving to the stocks front, some positive buyer stocks for the day are REC, Jet Airways, Tata Steel, Federal Bank, Exide Industry, Biocon, and Vogue Pharma. Negative buyer stocks for the day are Hevels and Yes Bank. Now moving to the USDNR view, in the last trading session, USDNR opened on a flat note, but uh, we have seen that there was a selling pressure witness throughout the session, and USDNR closed near to the day low. USDNR closed around 66.95 level and again it has given the breakdown of 67.05 level. So again USDNR now trading below to important support area of 67.05 level and even if it's not to manage to cross 67.25, 67.30 level in the pullback action which we have seen in the last two trading session. So uh, as we have mentioned earlier also till the USDNR not uh, managed to give close above uh, weekly closing above 67.25, 67.35 is a shorting opportunity whenever you see any kind of pullback on the higher side. On the now for the trader, USDNR is the USDNR is trading below 67.05 level. So again, uh, one can go short in the USDNR uh, at the current level also with a stop loss of 67.15 and lower side we are expecting level of 66.80, 66.70 in the coming trading session. Thank you.